Hello fellow YouTubers. I apologise for not uploading for the past three days, but it's been very hot and humid here and uh, I've been spending most of my time indoors in the pool. The morning of today, uh, Friday, January 26, uh, it's Australia Day. It's a celebration when the first fleet landed in Botany Bay in uh, 1788. Uh, this morning was uh, very hot. The girl was out in the garden for a while and then she came in a uh, late morning, called it quits for a while. And uh, then she went out later this afternoon because cloud had drifted in and it had become uh, milder, but the humidity was way up to 90%. Um, so for the past few days she's been busy with the back garden. Unfortunately a neighbour has come over and given her a hand for the last uh, two days and uh, I was appreciative of that and I'm sure Gail, uh, Gail is too. Uh, unfortunately the only way to protect the uh, her, her plants and uh, a lot of plants there are and uh, a considerable amount of money tied up in them she had to put uh, Salon shade up or shade cloth and it doesn't look really good but it will serve the purpose. You can have a look for yourself. I um I haven't heard about uh, getting the early appointment with the specialist. Uh, nothing at all has happened. I didn't expect it would, and I'm not optimistic that it will. Um, it's just that I'm not going to hold my breath. You know, it's all well and good for a doctor to say, oh, we'll try and get you an appointment early. But this is just to give the patient some false hope. But that's the way I see it anyhow. But who knows, we might hear something, whoops. No, it wasn't an earthquake. We have had some earthquakes here for the past few days. I haven't felt any trembling, but uh, there was one two days ago that measured 4.2 on the Richter scale. That was down around Yurunga, which is about oh, 50k south of my hometown. Oh, that's Gail talking to the dog. So he's probably pinched her glove. Uh, yes. <laughs> he's a real scallywag, Bailey is. He's a real little troublemaker at times. And anyhow, I'm, I'm digressing. Uh, so, really, I haven't been doing much at all. Um, I've uh, there was a statue that needed to be repaired, so I've uh, fixed that. And uh, I've done a few small jobs, but. Uh, I would really like to be able to help Gail with the work, but I just can't. It's just, I did lift up a couple of things, a couple of pot plants, and uh, but every time I bend down and straighten up, I become breathless. And that's what this insidious disease is like. Anyhow, uh, she's got some help, which is really great. <sighs> a, little, a bit of work to do, but you'll get there. Uh, sooner rather than later, I would expect. Uh, of course, in my mind, she really is Wonder Woman. Uh, it's true. Um, She's always had plenty of energy, and uh, I only wish I had a fraction of her energy. And a fraction of her lung capacity too, I can tell you. But I've been doing okay. Um, although, touch wood. There's a wood barrier on my desk. Um, it will continue that way. But as uh, anyone who suffers from emphysema knows, these uh, severe breathless episodes can come like just out of the blue, it, uh, I, I just hope that things continue okay. I did have a uh, several comments from a lady um, saying that she had uh, uh, collapsed lungs, or lung, and how terrifying it was, and uh, what she went through, and uh, how she spent uh, a considerable time in hospital. Why, I only have a 
collapsed lower right lung, but as I sit and wait to see the specialist, I wonder if the longer I wait before treatment, if it could become something more heinous. Mm, I hope not. I sincerely hope not. Oh yeah. Yes, my wife, uh, as I was saying, is truly a wonderful woman. She really is. I just don't know where she gets all her energy from. And she's always been a morning person, you know, she, she, she usually gets up around 5 or 5.30 every morning. And uh, gets stuck in the thing, which is good, especially during the summer when it's, uh, uh, it's cooler in the morning. Anyhow, I'm rambling on. So enough said. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.